Good evening, I'm Andrea Coudrier. And I'm Bruce Hamilton. Topping the news tonight, police continue to search for clues in the death of a priest. Father Louis Bumundo was murdered. No one knows why. Church officials from the Catholic Diocese are stunned. News Editor 2's Rob Zaya reports. The Catholic Diocese of Orlando is in mourning following the slaying of Father Louis Bamundo, who served as associate pastor here at St. Teresa's Parish in Titusville. Church officials expressed their outrage and disbelief at a news conference. The death of any of our priests is a real shock to us, but under the circumstances uh, of what, what, how it happened, the homicide, it, it sent shockwaves all over the diocese. The body of Father Bamundo was found stabbed to death about 200 yards from a topless bar in Orange County. His abandoned car, minus the keys, was discovered in the establishment's parking lot. His wallet was missing, but officials have not determined the motive, although robbery appears to be the leading contender. The priest had gone to Orlando for a doctor's appointment. Father Bamundo's friends believe he might have also visited a nursing home in the vicinity of the topless bar, thereby putting him near the scene. They say he opposed X-rated entertainment, but never publicly spoke out against it, and apparently made no enemies. He did his liturgies like any other priest. He was very uh, spiritual and never heard him speak like that on anything, on any particular issue. No, he was just uh, what I would consider a very holy priest. It's terrible. And, uh, you know, priest, it, uh, no one's safe anymore. That's the way I look at it. Meanwhile, the children attending the parish school filed into the church to offer prayers for the slain priest. He was a favorite with them. He did our mass, and I received Holy Communion from him. Well, I was shocked. Will he be missed here? A lot. Rob Zaya, New Center 2, Titusville. The Orange County Sheriff has no suspects in the case. A funeral service will be held for Father Bamundo in Titusville. He will be buried in Brooklyn, New York, his home. Father Bamundo was 42. More than 100 police officers are continuing a door-to-door -door search in Wright City, Missouri tonight. They're looking for Michael Jackson, a very dangerous convict who may be responsible for three killings, five abductions, and seven car thefts since Monday alone. Lawmen think Jackson may have been wounded in a shootout Monday night. They say he is armed and extremely dangerous. Lake Mary High School's anti-drug program officially got underway tonight as hundreds of drug-free contracts were distributed to students and parents. New Center 2's Ed Highland was at Lake Mary High School tonight where school officials said they want to start a positive campaign to rid their school of drugs. Ed, how did it go? Andrea, the turnout was very impressive. In fact, there were hundreds of parents and students alike packing the Lake Mary High School Auditorium to show their interest in drug-free contracts, much like this one. Notice I said interest, not necessarily support. Tonight was an upbeat sales pitch for the voluntary contract program, but not everyone was buying it. This program is not intended to punish students or to add to their problems. Every effort will be made to protect students' rights and to give them confidentiality. The Lake Mary really says no program is being drawn along a thin legal line. Although there are contracts which parents and students are asked to sign together, the signing is voluntary. Although only those students involved in extracurricular activities like band, cheerleading, and football will receive contracts, not signing won't eliminate them from participating in those activities. The contracts do call for students to abstain from drugs and alcohol, avoid parties where there are drugs and alcohol, and agree to submit to testing. For school officials, and, and, and that testing is clause is a sore spot. I know there's been a lot of controversy about urine tests and stuff like that, and I think when you listen tonight, it's such an insignificant part of our total program, it is hardly worth discussing. A majority of parents were quick to endorse the contract there. proposal. I don't feel he has a problem now, but going away to college, I hope this will reinforce any temptation he might feel. I've got no problem signing. I feel if they, they're trying to help us, we might as well go all the way with it. Yet others, while applauding the drug-free goal, questioned whether contracts were the way to reach it. You're forcing them. Don't force them. If you say to her, we, do you want to take the test? Most likely she's going to say yes. But when you say, you have to take it, no. I don't think it's fair because most people that are in extracurricular activities aren't the ones doing drugs. And I think it's one-sided because teachers don't have to sign anything, just the students and athletes. The American Civil Liberties Union agrees the contracts are unfair and have promised to challenge them in court. Andrea?
When do they plan to file that suit, Ed? A spokesperson said today that the ACLU prob uh, probably will file on behalf of the student, possibly by the end of this week. All right. Thank you, Ed. On a related topic, the National Collegiate Athletic Association today announced a massive new drug testing program. Executive Director Walter Byers said the NCAA will begin screening athletes with this year's college football bowl games and the 64-team college basketball tournament. The program will cost $950,000 to implement in its first year. Now, the NCAA will also spend $430,000 on a drug education program that will send videotapes to schools and youth groups. And New Smyrna Beach Utilities is joining a growing number of area employers considering a drug testing program for its employees. An undercover police operation within the utility unveiled drug abuse among three employees. They were using drugs while on the job. New Center 2's Donna Lowry has more. When the New Smyrna Beach Utilities Commission suspected drug use among its employees, the city's police department had a detective infiltrate the operation. He confirmed their suspicions. This practice was going on during working hours that uh, primarily around lunchtime, they were taking not only a lunch break, but a marijuana break also. Although no names have been released, two water department employees are expected to be charged with possession of marijuana and another with possession and delivery of cannabis. They will not be formally arrested. They will be filed on with the state attorney as a direct information because there are misdemeanor charges. They will be summoned to court uh, to answer to those particular charges. We will be taking appropriate action with respect to these employees. Uh, I'm pleased to say that it, it did not turn out to be a wide spread or uh, terribly heavy involvement when we have many employees as we have, I think percentage-wise, it's probably no worse than you would find in any percentage population. Hagen says the company is also looking into a drug testing program for its 170 employees. Donna Lowry, New Center 2, New Smyrna Beach. New Smyrna Beach police conducted a second sting operation unrelated to the drug probe at the utility company. That investigation led to four arrests, and police have warrants out for three others. They're related to cocaine and marijuana possession and trafficking charges. A Nicaraguan student and a Cuban couple and their child are in Miami tonight after seeking political asylum last night. The four were aboard a Spanish jet that landed in Miami after blowing four tires on takeoff from Havana. That jet left for Madrid this morning without the refugees aboard. Officials say they don't know why the four decided to seek asylum. Speculation is they wanted to be with relatives. You may soon be able to push the pedal a little further to the metal in rural areas. Right now, the top legal speed is 55. Well, Senate leaders say it's okay to travel 65 in rural areas, rural interstates. President Reagan backs the plan. Now we just have to wait and see what the House does. And still to come on News Center 2, an Orlando doctor visits the earthquake victim she helped a year ago. And coming up next, the story of people who prey on others with troubles. Word is spreading there are cancer insurance salesmen in the neighborhood, and the people are furious. It's like going out dancing on somebody's grave. I mean, it's ghoulish. Time to play! McDonald's in a bell! Kick off, pay off! Oh, good! You collect these cards of your favorite NFL stars. Oh, like him? Every kickoff payoff card is a winner. Win great McDonald's food prizes. Winning cards must be redeemed by the following week. So hurry into McDonald's. New winners every, every week at McDonald's. Collect the best of the NFL and win great food prizes, too. Play NFL kickoff payoff at any participating McDonald's. Publix presents the International Festival of Foods, a celebration of taste and savings. Come explore the world's most exotic cuisines. This week, Publix brings you a taste of Latin America with recipes and special savings. Plan a south of the border salute with Publix boneless bottom round roast, 157 a pound, topped off with a sweet taste of Western honeydews, 139 each. Another reason why, when you expect more, Publix is your store. Publix. This could be the boldest, spiciest refrigerated pickle ever. New Vlasic Hearty Garlic Dills. It's just for the hearty. How can you find the Central Florida radio station that's easy to listen to? It's real easy. Just set your radio dial at Whisper 104, WSSP-FM. Orange County's Health Department says it might be another week before cancer experts will be in the area. The experts have been called in to determine what, if anything, is causing an unusually high incidence of cancer in a southeast Orlando neighborhood. Our Unit 2 team is still looking into the situation, and tonight, John McPherson reports that the cancer experts might not be here yet, but the people who profit from the fear of cancer certainly are. 
It's been two weeks since we first reported there is an unusually high number of cancer cases in these neighborhoods southeast of Orlando. People here are worried as the county tries to find out, is there something here causing the cancers, or is it just coincidence? The high number of cancer cases reported in this community may very well be nothing but coincidence. But what's happened to this neighborhood since the cancers were first reported is anything but coincidence. Hello. How are you doing? I'm Patrick Ryan. We're in the neighborhood talking to people about cancer, and I'd like to talk to you. Got a minute? This man is selling cancer insurance. They rep misrepresented themselves to begin with and said they wanted to talk to him about cancer. And then they turned out, and she assumed they were from the county or something like that, and turned out to be an insurance salesman. She was furious. I don't blame her. Neighbor to neighbor, word is spreading there are cancer insurance salesmen in the neighborhood. And the people are furious. It's like going out dancing on somebody's grave. It, that's what it sounds like to me. I mean, it's ghoulish. They're on us already. Some sales pitches start off with referrals from neighbors who, it turns out, don't even know their names are being used. How did you feel when you heard that uh, they had told her that they set up an appointment to come back and talk with you? I was astounded. I didn't know what to do. It wasn't true. Kind of cancer. At least one salesperson is using the name of Christine Webster, whose son Sean died of cancer in April. Mrs. Webster says she's never heard from any cancer insurance company and calls the soliciting sick. The salespeople say they're just trying to help. Uh, we know that, you know, this has a little higher incidence of cancer in the area, and uh, for those people that don't have the coverage and they would like to have the coverage, that's what we're here for. For two weeks, residents of this community have been concerned, some of them frightened. Now, door by door, many are experiencing another emotion, anger. They're like vultures, you know, they're down here. We're having enough problems. John McPherson, News Center 2. The cancer salesman we interviewed says a majority of the people he sees are happy to see him coming. However, late this afternoon, John McPherson talked with the manager of the cancer insurance company. The manager said he never authorized anyone to solicit in the cancer-afflicted area. And he says anyone selling in that area will be told to stop immediately. An Orlando doctor has not forgotten the people of Mexico City, still trying to recover from that terrible earthquake last year. We first told you about Dr. Yvette Valaderos when she led a relief effort to Mexico. Last week, she returned with more donations. Healthcast Sam Dick tagged along. Estas son las cuartas. Marcelo lost both his legs in a train accident. 19-year-old Rodolfo lost his leg in a car crash. And Poinciana suffers from polio and needs special braces to walk. All three couldn't afford braces and artificial legs. They represent the poor of Mexico. But now, because of American donations through the Red Cross, they're taking big steps forward. He's very grateful to the American people because now he doesn't have to limit himself. He can really uh, move around and there's no limitations thanks to the generosity of the American people. This special program started for victims of the earthquake. 600,000 American dollars made it possible. More than 200 earthquake amputees were helped, and now the program is open to the poor. Many local Red Cross chapters contributed to the Mexican earthquake relief. The Orlando chapter sent $43,000 in donations. And a team of Orlando doctors brought tons of medical supplies. Last week, Dr. Yvette Valadares returned. She represents a coalition of Latin clubs and led the first Orlando relief trip. They give. They give material things. But I'm sure that all of those Central Floridians want to come here and want to help out. Now I'm the privileged one that gets to come and, and see it live. So it, it's a very good feeling. This is for Dr. Valadares brought several boxes of supplies, antibiotics, surgical needles. It's not a lot, but the Mexican doctors are grateful. In return, Dr. Valadares leaves with some good memories. It'll just be memories of uh, seeing how grateful the people are, what we as Americans have done for them, and how good they feel about it, because they do. They feel good about, for the things that we've done for them. Sam Dick, News Center 2. Tomorrow, Sam tells us about a Volusia County couple who still feels a deep sense of loss a year after the Mexico earthquake. They survived the quake when the hotel in which they were staying collapsed. Their friends did not survive. That story tomorrow night on News Center 2 at 6. Well, there was a gorgeous sunset on the western horizon tonight. When we come back, Dave Marshall have tomorrow's forecast. Stay with us. Join SeaWorld and McDonald's in supporting the Arnold Palmer Children's Hospital.
Just pick up a coupon worth two dollars off to SeaWorld at participating Central Florida McDonald's restaurants. When you visit SeaWorld, they'll donate one dollar to the Children's Hospital. Thanks for joining SeaWorld and McDonald's in supporting the Arnold Palmer Children's Hospital. And happy birthday, baby Shamu. You're going to have to act fast to cash in on the Subaru full line sale. Because as soon as people hear about it, they're going to be snapping up every sedan, wagon, three-door, Brat, and XT Coupe in stock. So, by the time you decide to go to your Subaru dealer and have a look at the new Subarus, there may not be any new Subarus to look at. Test drive a new 1986 Subaru at your local dealer today. Again, my apologies for the shape of certain Ecker drugstores during remodeling. But soon we'll have a better cosmetics department than ever. It'll be right here, where it is. And our pharmacy will have a whole new look soon. Like now soon. It's done. We should have a grand... We are having a grand reopening sale. And the prices will be... The prices are incredible. Now more than ever, one drugstore is better than the rest. Eckerd. It's done. What are you doing up so late? You've got to work tomorrow. If you had a bed from Sleep Quarters, you'd be sleeping right now. So get to Sleep Quarters. Grand opening sale today at these seven locations. Time now to check in with the all-knowing, all-seeing Dave Marsh. When are we going to see some fall here, old wise one? Well, uh, it'll be a while yet. Maybe next week. We're looking that far ahead, as a matter of fact, hoping for some change at that particular time, Bruce. But today, anything but fall. The temperatures are rising because of southerly winds throughout the southeast. Well, at least one record high temperature anyway. In Savannah, Georgia, it was 96. It felt like that in central Florida, but no records were set here, although the temperatures were certainly in the 90s. We have a variety of weather on the national weather map tonight, and some of it significant, as a matter of fact. Twisters reported in the middle part of the country. We weren't surprised at this. South Dakota reporting a twister in central Illinois, a twister there, and even out in California, northern part of that state. And nothing major reported in terms of damages, and no injuries have been reported at all. Also, lots of thunderstorms throughout this very intense low-pressure system that will be traveling across the Midwest during the next couple of days rather slowly. So there'll be a lot of rain, thunderstorms, hail, that type of thing. Let's hope there aren't any more tornadoes, but that possibility does exist. We have southerly winds ahead of the front, colder air coming in behind that clash taking place in the middle part of the country, and it has been quite unstable. Do not expect that to change during the next 24 hours. Not much happening throughout the eastern section of the country. A few spots of rain here and there, and that includes thunderstorms up in Maine. And out in the northwest, well, we're starting to see some fall. Well, it's winter, if you will, but again, the snowfall that you see indicated really from uh, northern Arizona up into the uh, northern Rockies, uh, that's at higher elevation, certainly around 6,000, 7,000, maybe even 8,000 feet. Some of it has been heavy, and that will continue through tomorrow as a lot of moisture is coming in off the Pacific waters. Now, the reason that we know a lot of the stuff that goes on around the country is we get a lot of information in at the weather office, and it comes in over satellite. This is a national weather summary. It gives us a general summation of what happened during the day around the country. Now, with the snow in Arizona, and I see this every year, and I just wonder if people ever read what they write, and in this case, it says, Flagstaff, Arizona, measured an inch of new snow today. Now, if anybody knows the difference between an inch of new snow and an inch of old snow, please let me know, because I've never been able to figure that out. If they'd only read what they write. Well, let's see what's happening in the satellite picture. certainly bears everything out. There's the front coming across the country. And it's a little bit higher than nor more north than it was yesterday, so that warmer air is pushing to the north, and that's why, that's why they had the very unstable conditions throughout that region. Back to home, really nothing happening here. A few low clouds. Nothing unusual at all. And for the rest of our current conditions, the current temperature in Daytona Beach, 76. Orlando, 78. Melbourne at 82. And really no problem with the winds or the other vital signs. The highs for the day were just that. I thought a little bit on the comfortable side. You probably did as well. Here's a 96 in Leesburg, Ocala, 95. And the Deltona with 88 degrees. Let's take a look at the forecast for tomorrow. It'll be just about the same as what we experienced today. Afternoon inland thunderstorms. I think because of the southerly winds, if and when they do form, they'll be moving generally in a northwest or perhaps northerly, northerly direction. The lows will be around 69. The highs in the low 90s. Winds will be south at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. That'll be our weather for tomorrow. And again, uh, we're waiting for next week to see some fall temperatures. And even then, I don't think it's going to be a great deal of change. But at least we're hoping it'll be better than 96 degrees, Andrea. All right, Dave, don't worry about old snow or new snow. As long as you know not to eat yellow snow, you're all set. <laughs> you got a point there. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Coming up, a sensible decision means bad news for the Packers. Buddy Pittman will explain right after this. Every day, the curtain rises. 
the stage lights blink on. The performers get ready. A hush falls over the audience. And a cast of thousands puts on the show of a lifetime. No wonder Cypress Gardens has earned the title Florida's Showplace. Cypress Gardens. Eckerd System 2 photo processing gives you Kodak chemicals, Kodak paper and Technet color control, and two prints of every shot. Does your store? Isn't it time you switch to System 2 only from Eckerd? Twice the prints, twice the film, twice the guarantee. You've stepped up to a 35 millimeter camera because you wanted to get serious about your photography. Be sure the image you shoot is the image you get. Ultralab 35 from Eckerd when you're serious about 35 millimeter. We figured the only way we'd ever offer an HMO health care plan would be to offer the best medical services you can afford and the quality care you expect. Health Options from Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Florida offers some of the finest doctors all across Florida. Rest assured, there's one HMO, Health Options, backed by the strength of Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Florida. That's the point of difference. Health Options, your HMO answer. Don't throw big money away. Toyota's 30,000 car and truck clearance is about to end. So if you don't buy now and save on Toyota, you could make much more than a $1,500 mistake. The Toyota factory distributor cleared the docks in Japan so you can beat the 87 price increases. Plus, you could get any new Toyota for no money down. Zero cash down from World Omni Leasing. Why pay more when you can save more? At Toyota dealers in our 30,000 car and truck clearance. The Democrats, Paget and Smith. The Republicans, Martinez and Fry. In a live debate from the WESH TV studios, Saturday at 7. Seems like more and more players are getting injured, buddy. It does indeed. Pro football is a hard-hitting sport, and uh, when you have that much contact with that big of players and those fast of players sometimes, you just can't help but prevent injuries. But after suffering a neck injury in Monday night's NFL game against the Chicago Bears, Green Bay Packers defensive back Tim Lewis announced today that he is retiring from pro football. Now, Lewis suffered that, what doctors termed a jammed neck when he collided head-on with Bears wide receiver Willie Gault. It was a horrible-looking accident, but not as serious as first feared. However, tests showed that Lewis has a smaller than normal spinal canal, which makes him susceptible to such injuries, and another such blow could leave him paralyzed for life. When I think about the, you know, Daryl Stingley-type cases, and I, I really, I mean, there's not much of a, a decision that really has to be made when they lay it on the table with you like that. You get out of it, and, you know, I'm still standing, and I've got my arms, and I can move. I think I'd, I think I'd cherish that a little bit more than the, the dollars and cents and the fame and fortune that goes along with football. Certainly, indeed, an unfortunate way for the career to come to an end, but I think everyone would have to agree that he made the right decision in this case. Major League Baseball action tonight. The Houston Astros were within striking distance of wrapping up the National League West, but they had to win, and the Cincinnati Reds had to lose. Let's go to the Astrodome to see how the Astros did against the Giants this evening. The Astros doing their part, fourth, fourth inning here, Billy Hatcher will take this one to the opposite field, little looper that drops in, that's good enough to score Reynolds, and also, as the throw goes to second, Nolan Ryan will come in to score as well. A little bit later on in this one, Kevin Bass provides some offense of his own, he takes this one opposite field down the third baseline, Billy Doran will come in to score, and that will be good enough to make it a six to nothing lead. Astros on top at that stage in the ball game, and Nolan Ryan was coasting all night because Nolan was in the groove. He would go eight innings, striking out 12 batters, allowing only one hit as the Astros shut out the Giants six to nothing. Now, that would not be enough because the Reds prevented the Astros from wrapping it up tonight. Cincinnati defeated the Atlanta Braves by a score of four to one, so that means the magic number for Houston is now down to one. Over in the American League, the division leaders both were rained out tonight. Cleveland and California was washed out with the Angels resting on a magic number of four to wrap up the Western Division crown, while the Eastern Division leading Boston Red Sox got rained out in Milwaukee. The Sox magic number remains at three because both the Yankees and the Blue Jays were winners tonight. Toronto down Detroit while the Yankees were out hitting the Orioles. Action here. Joel Skinner singles to right. Pagliarulo comes in to score, and it's a two-to-nothing game. New York out on top. Don Mattingly comes up with a score a little bit later on. He would have had this one. He would go two for four on tonight as the Yankees would cruise on to a four to one win over the Baltimore Orioles. The uh, 
Word out of Baltimore tonight is that third base coach Cal Ripken Sr. will be named to succeed retiring manager Earl Weaver at the end of the season. Ripken uh, was the Orioles or has been in the Orioles organization in one way or another for 30 years. And sources say everyone will be surprised if he does not get the job. Now, as far as the big push for uh, bringing NBA to Orlando is concerned, it kicked into high gear today. The Orlando Chamber of Commerce launched what it called an all-out effort to help reach that 10,000 season ticket goal. And also former Harlem Globetrotter and now Central Florida resident Curly Neal joint effort as the honorary ticket chairman. They feel very confident they're going to be able to reach that 10,000 goal as the NBA owners are scheduled to meet the middle of next month to decide on expansion. So hopefully we'll have good news at that time, and I do think they're going to make it. Everybody's real positive. Send a message to the NBA. That's right. Coming up next on New Center 2 tonight, a Central Florida dig yields an archaeological bonanza. A brand new 1987 Turismo Chrysler's Mini Sports Coupe for only $59.87. Hi, I'm Bob McClellan. This is Fairway Chrysler Plymouth. And you heard right, you can own a 1987 Turismo for only $59.87, including Chrysler's famous five-year 50,000-mile protection plan. With 2.4% financing or up to $1,500 cash back, our inventory of 300 new cars won't last long. So call us now at 855 0 66 Fairway Chrysler Plymouth, 7530 South Orange Blossom Trail, where I'll bet a dollar I can deal with you. On September 26th of last year, we celebrated the miracle of birth. On September 26th of this year, we celebrate the miracle of life. Happy birthday, baby Shamu. is not enough. You deserve Extra, the new Extra Superfood Center. This week at Extra, get USDA Choice Whole Sirloin Tips, $1.29 a pound. Extra Fancy Red Delicious Apples, three-pound bag, 59 cents. Top Frost Ice Cream, half gallon, 99 cents. And a gallon of Clorox Bleach, 59 cents. Come join Extra's grand opening celebration. Extra Superfood Center is open 24 hours, seven days a week. Route 436 south of University Boulevard. Beautiful chair. Just fix it with a little help from Walmart. Walmart's crafts department rolled back the price on the M Heart Thermogrip Hot Glue Gun. It was $19.97. Now it's only $16.96 every day. If you like crafts, Walmart has it all. Like Red Heart Wintuck yarn for just a dollar a skein and VIP Christmas present prints or the VIP Wildlife Collection. So start your projects in Walmart's crafts department, where the most special gift you can give is the one you create yourself. That's real savings. That's the Walmart way. Archaeologists have struck it rich again at an ancient Indian burial ground in Titusville. For the first time, researchers have discovered completely intact skeletons. They're anywhere from 7,500 to 8,000 years old. Experts say the remains are so well preserved because the Indians buried their dead below a pond and the water prevented excessive decay. Truly amazing. It really is. That's it for News Center 2 at 11. Thank you for joining us. Good night. See you tomorrow. Who should be Florida's next Attorney General? Look at the record. Ed Dunn is responsible for Florida's laws that tighten sentences on drug dealers and racketeers, and Dunn wrote Florida's death penalty. There's a big difference between Ed Dunn's record and Butterworth's resume. Ed Dunn is supported by 11 state attorneys and 42 sheriffs. Butterworth isn't even backed by his hometown sheriff in Fort Lauderdale. The evidence is overwhelming. Ed Dunn is better qualified to be Attorney General. I'm Bob Martinez, and I'm running for governor because Florida needs positive leadership based on vision and good management based on experience. As mayor of Tampa, a successful businessman, a former teacher, and a parent, I've dealt with the problems of crime, education, and growth management. I know how to solve those problems because I've done it. I'm Bob Martinez, and I'm running for governor because I can do the job. Martinez for governor. Buddy Sheets is doing it again with a super summer clear away. Buy this Renault Alliance with no money down and only $173 a month. Only at Buddy Sheets in D-Land, the home of cheap prices. Brook Shields in the Sunshine State, Thursday at 7.30 on Entertainment Tonight.